Yes, sir. Good evening. Welcome to WCU Esports, where tonight we see CSU Long Beach Black taking on Western Colorado Black. I'm Sparky, joined by Estefan again. So, Estefan, what do you see from your team this week while we wait for CSU LB to hop into the lobby? They had much better communication in the games that they were warming up in. Uh, no double commits, a lot better touches, cleaner communication. Uh, what about those, uh, the boost management? What are we looking for this week from WCU for that? That's a bit too much to ask for them. Uh, they got to keep it at one topic at a time. So let's just don't double commit. Well, having looked at CSU Long Beach's streams from a couple weeks ago, I did notice that they are a very, very fast-paced team. So how do you feel it's going to impact your boys tonight? I don't think it matters too much as long as the Western can keep possession of the ball and you know, play their game. I mean, the, all they have to do is continue with how they've been playing. But just as a heads up, we do have a head-to-head -head comparison between mm -hmm. CSULB and WCU based on a shared opponent. So who we took on last week, the Hard Rockers JV, or the Hard Rockers Varsity Squad, my apologies, I got that confused with uh, our Overwatch Crimson team. But the Hard Rockers team, CSU Long Beach, beat them in four, Western beat them in five. So what does that tell you just off of the rip without any other thought? Well, the goals in that series were 10 to 10. So it was more of an even series than it looked. So I think they'll be better than better than hard rocker but realistically that should have been a sweep from the mountaineers right from the mountaineers i absolutely agree they definitely should have won that one in three or in yeah in three um but of course it did end up going to five just from a small mental breakdown game three but taking a look at the stats from that yeah so that hard rocker versus csu will be like you said 10 to 10 goals more passing though it looks like from that from this Long Beach team. Realistically, Western just needs to play their game, and you know, the the opponents don't matter. All right. Well, speaking of opponents not mattering, we are ready to go as everyone is joined in. Well, there we go. Now everyone's joined in. <laughs> Took us a half second there, but here we go. WCU versus Hard Rock or versus Long Beach game one in this best of five series should be very interesting to see too just with how WCU decides to come out of the gate because they could very well take their time and play patient or they could just come out with the aggression that we've seen from them in the past I really think they need to come out with the aggression start off hot make, <laughs> make Long Beach sweat the pressure is what's going to... It, I mean, the same pressure that softens the potato, hardens the egg, you know? So it's just a matter of how does each team respond to pressure situations. And right there, we saw a great defensive play from Coffey. He knew he was the last one back, and he had to get that clear, and he ended up playing it perfectly to Noe for a clear into this Long Beach half. I feel like Coffey is going to have a better series this time. It was looking pretty good in warm-ups. I mean, last week he was looking a little bit miss more so than hit, just especially on those crucial touches, but still ended up with a WCU victory last week. Now the Mountaineers are starting to make their way down the field, this time with possession instead of just throwing it away. Possession is big. Oh, and almost a big opportunity as Long Beach whiffed that shot, or whiffed that clear at first, but now they have a chance to put it away, but they don't. Pumpkin Spice going off of the crossbar on the post. Coffee looking very sound in net so far tonight. I mean, it's been two saves, but two crucial ones for the Mountaineers. And there's a goal from Long Beach. That's a, that's a miss from Coffee in the corner. And then a miss on that clear from Adam, or on, from Noe, my apologies. And then Noe just kind of falling a bit too slow in the net to get to that ball. And once again, it's that boost management that we've seen come into trouble for the Mountaineers in the past, happening again tonight. The Western looking to keep their series uh, overall standings looking really good. Right now, they're tied for rank one with a 2-0 series general score. And Adam tying the game up with, I got to say, that was probably one of the softest shots I've seen come from WCU. There's never a bad shot. Any shot on net is a good shot. I'm not saying it wasn't a bad shot. I'm just saying it was a little slow, you know? That just means 
they had good pressure, Long Beach was out of position, you don't even need to have a good shot. Speed. Ooh. And passing as well, as we almost see Adam get a second with Noe as the assist again. Yeah, Coffee playing very slow and passive as well. And I think WC looking to try and control a slower paced game tonight. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Good defense from Noe and a good clear from Adam. I mean, right now the defense from WCU really making the difference in why this series is still one to one. W or Adam and Coffee have already both gotten their big saves out the way. Noe putting some shots towards net too, keeping possession for the Mountaineers in that offensive half. So right now, Western's just looking very well rounded. Expect the physicality to bump up as the players get more comfortable. Coffee was a demo king in the warm-ups. And I really do expect to see that. And playing against opponents that you can really take your time and see how they do. Speaking of the demos, there's one from Noe, but no one there in the backfield for Western allows for a free goal from Long Beach. It's a good play that turns into miscommunication. Coffee as a third man he needs to stay back. Well, I mean, again, in that situation, though, it's no yet another instance of WCU having no boost in that situation, as you just mentioned. enough from knowing but not quite as there was that second man coming in that's just lacking confidence oh, that was i have to say though i feel like that was a definite fat finger flip from his coffee in that moment in that moment though you don't even need the flip you need to control that go to the corner don't even need the flip well i think he was just trying to double jump up and control it over the backboard or over to the backboard but double touches on that jump key definitely making the effect there less inputs you have to make, the less mistakes that are likely. Go for the simple play is what I tell him. Want some ball chasing coming from Noe tonight too. He's, I mean, that second goal that put CSULB up two by two right now in this first game, it's, it's gotten to Noe. He's trying to play a lot more aggressive right now. That might not end well. control from coffee into the corner but he was just without the boost so western having to play a very throwaway game right now just throw the gate throw the ball across the field but coffee with a big goal to put the mountaineers back within one nobody even close in the defensive zone an easy 50. good force on that pass from noe he as opposed to making the pass himself he forced Long Beach to make that pass for him, which is sometimes the best thing you can do in any given scenario. As a defender there, you gotta make a better play. A good 50 from Noe in the air. Nice bump from Coffee as he's now playing deep in the backfield. Oh. And it's just gonna be Adam soloing that in. That's you, the control. I, that is. And we're just out of the reach for that to be technically a kickoff goal. 19 seconds, not 14. But tie game three to three as we hit 35 seconds left, game one. Just great composure, not panicking. Beat three people with one guy. Speaking of not panicking, it was a scary situation off of that kickoff for the Mountaineers, but handled beautifully by Noe. Down two, making the comeback. I mean, now it's going to be on the Mountaineers to keep that headspace of confidence, not cockiness. Yep. So far, they have not had a lead in this game. Sometimes, though, you don't need that lead. You just need to be able to play your game. And a bump from Noe into someone else. But it's going to remain true that the Mountaineers don't have a lead in this first game in the series. That's communication. Both on the backboard. And then in the net. Yep. And again, it's that boost. I mean, WCU needing to find a way to keep boost in their pocket, but just not quite connecting on it today. And that will touch down. 
Winner game one will go to CSULB Black. So here we go. Small intermission as we wait for this next game. So what do we need from the Mountaineers to really ensure at least the start to a comeback in this series? Because down one game isn't always the easiest to come back from. Well, it was a bad start going down. You never want to go down early like that. But they were able to make the comeback. You can think highly on that. But really, it's upsetting to lose a game with a mistake like that. Well, I mean, after putting up two very quick ones to tie it up, it's going to be hard to come back from, or it's going to be hard to get your head back in it at the end of the day. But right now, Mountaineers just really need to find a way to get themselves back into the game, get themselves back into the series, make sure that they can just get some momentum going. They had some really rolling well at the start of, or at the end of game one. So just making sure they can compound off that and just start building is going to be a necessity. Two of the uh, Long Beach goals were just complete mistakes. Well, I guess three complete mistakes from Western. You really just need to clean up the touches and uh, it should be an easy, easy fix. Well, I mean, again, that communication though coming into play for the Mountaineers, rather the lack therein. And that's the uh, the third man being way too aggressive that I've been harping at them. They've got to rush back to make a defensive play. I mean, they do have the momentum, but then again, it's that communication where that third man there was too passive. It's a t it's a tough play to balance. It's a tough one. Yeah, it's a very tough balance of knowing when to go as that third man versus when to stay. And we saw both sides of doing the opposite of what you should do in a moment. But speaking of in a moment, Adam, finding the first lead for the Mountaineers this series, one nothing WCU. Backboard was open. Pumpkin Spice needs to go fast. Misses and Adam with the easy finish. I mean, that's the hockey teammate uh, connection. Connection, I would say. Uh, chemistry, that's the word. Class that I never paid attention yeah, to in college. But that chemistry definitely came through, though, with Adam and Coffee. Pass off the backboard and Noe now. Good 50. Good fi a second good 50 from Adam with Coffee coming in to clean up. WCU extends that lead to two. That's just a great play. And that's one where, as the third man of coffee, you can be confident to go for that because Noe is already midfield and he's back. I mean, just having that confidence in your team to know where they are is huge. And that's something that the WCU squad has that maybe this Long Beach doesn't of that one year experience, as I mentioned, and I will continue to mention throughout this season. Just knowing how the team plays and being able to play together at whatever level lobby and still finding success as a whole is something that not a lot of teams can really say they have at this level. We but need to keep the communication up so you don't even need to know where your teammates are in an empty net. Off the post from the demo from Adam. I was worried from that defensive side, but a whiff from Lunar Breeze on the Long Beach side of things will allow the Mountaineers to go up by three now. 2.50 left, game two. Even though that's a goal for Western, that's, that's one that you don't want to be celebrating too much because it's a very dangerous situation that was just a whiff. To put it in less terms, Western got lucky there. Yeah. <laughs> Lunar probably should have had that one, but sometimes you just don't have it in you to get that reaction, or you just weren't quite expecting it to pop back out again. So, But there's that physicality, as you were saying, and it almost results in a direct goal for Noe, but just blocked by Lunar Breeze, making up for his mistake earlier. And now that entire CSU team is low on boost, and they're only just now finding some. So WCU had a great chance there to capitalize, but... Now they're just playing overly defensive once again. And a miss from Noe, but no one's there to follow it up. So the, again, WCU will kind of luck out. And that's a benefit of the boost control. In transition, 
Long Beach needs to go grab boost, so they don't have anybody there for a quick finish. And as you were mentioning, like I said last time, and I just briefly talked about earlier, that physicality is really stepping up. I wish that the uh, we have on this uh, tracker, you can only look in replays and in um, your games, but you can see more stats than just what's on the screen. As we see Pumpkin Spice adding one to theirs, putting one in the goal column, closing this gap to two. Bad 50 and a panic out of coffee to try and savor it. Leaves him in a bad position, and it's a free goal. But no, as I was saying just before that, is the uh, there is a stat that is how many cars you've bumped in the game, and I wish that you could see that during the live gameplay on the bottom. Because we would see right now, Adam is just adding demo after demo to his uh, total. That's something Adam and Coffee are both really good at, and it gives the space to Noe. But a miss there from Long Beach, something that you really should be hitting, but they didn't quite connect with, and now WCU once again on their heels. Only person with any boost in the tank is Adam, and he's playing very conservative with it at the moment because he knows he's the only one who has it. Coffee now with 100. And it's going to work out as Coffee gets a second touch, doesn't connect, but no, he will. And re extends that lead to three with 45 seconds left. I'm pretty sure there was a crucial bump on the Long Beach third man that resulted in them not getting a good shot. I would see that happening too, where, I mean, just the, physical, the physicality from WCU this game is helping them out in the long run and just giving them every added bonus they can think of. Now it's just see the game out. You don't need to score. Play, I mean, or you can with a great 50 as Coffee just showed. 50 straight in the net. I mean, 50-50 for that reason is lucky. And, I mean, sometimes the luck's just in your favor. But that's what I've been... As that first man, you've got to go hard. And you could see both teammates sitting at the midfield line. Oh my gosh, and you can see Adam, the result of his bump onto Lunar there in the background. And a fake shot from Noe will give Mountaineers possession still deep in the Long Beach half. And a demo, demo again. WCU making a statement game two, showing that this first game was maybe just a fluke for Long Beach. You gotta keep the pressure up. I keep mean, the momentum. Well, you said we don't need to score anymore, but WCU just turned around and said, you know what, what if we did? And right now it's looking like there's a possibility for Brazil to pass off the backboard, but Adam lifts it, and that will be the game. WCU gonna win that one, six to one. It would have been a clean pre-jump from Adam. Would have looked amazing, but sometimes you can't always get the connections that you necessarily want. WCU ending up on top that game, six to one in their favor. Series now tied one to one, best of five. If you're going into game three as CSULB, do you take the time? Do you rush into it? Like, what do you want to see? And what do you do to make sure that you guys get the advantage? I would, well, if it's coming into my end, boom it away and get it onto the backboard of Weston. With some miscommunication once again, but it's going to work out for WCU. Noe taking one of those boosts to maintain control of it for the Mountaineers. Not the best play from Adam, panicking to a pretty bad touch for a centering pass for the other team. But now a little chip coming from Noe and Adam. I mean, sometimes those commits do work out in your favor. WCU getting a good roll of the dice that time. And now Noe with a shot towards net. Scopes handles it beautifully. Great bump from Coffee to take away possession. I mean, right now that's what we're seeing is just the possession is in favor of WCU for the vast majority, but not that time. Is That's just a long ball scored by Pumpkin Spice. That's that third man committing so heavily as a at a pre-jump when both your teammates are in the other end with no boost. And that's one where you have, if you're gonna go for that, you have to be confident that you're gonna score it. You have to know exactly what you're going 
to put into the back of it, or that you that you're going to get that connection. That's the exact play that I've been harping on him to stop doing. Flip reset from coffee, but not able to get height under it. Stalled over to Adam, who's just going to throw it towards us. A triple commit from Long Beach, but that ball spits out to the western half, allowing them to just get some control once again. Throwing it towards net. And um, accident. I, I want to say that was probably accidental from Adam throwing it to the middle. Yep. Trying to get out of the way. No, he hits it into him. You'd love to see after a triple commit an instant. Oh my gosh, Adam and Noe are connecting on some level. They have the ideas, but the finish isn't there. We just want to see one of those connect, and that would probably do it for us with how we react. That might just change the entire pace of how we're casting this stream, too. Passing plays are beautiful. They have to connect. Speaking of passing, it can be something as simple as a little chip, and it almost works out for WCU. Just not quite enough accuracy and not enough power on that one but the mountaineers are putting up a ton of pressure to this long beach team 250 left game three one nothing right now in favor of long beach with this pressure you got to make sure that you don't overcommit and give long beach a free exit or a free goal and you can see a passing the passing again from western and that will be a whiff from lunar Tying this game up for WCU. Lunar, I think, just slightly off the mark today. Some days are just like that. You know, you can't always have the days where you're always on, especially with constant week of competition. And now that you've seen Lunar is shaky, you've got to attack him. You've got to make him feel nervous. Just like that. Great save from Pumpkin Spice, though. Adam with a soft touch towards net, and Noe coming in with the dunk. But... We can't be celebrating too early as Mountaineer fans. This is exactly what we saw game one. WCU with a kickoff or with a goal and then a kickoff goal immediately following it to give them, or at least last time it was to tie it. Now it's to give them the lead. So we'll see what happens here. But the tides can always turn in Rocket League. That's something that is really fun to see with this game. Right now, what I would be saying to the boys is if you see Lunar on the ball, you, you go all out at him. You you hit the hard spot with the weak spot hard. <laughs> great execution. <laughs> You're doing terrific. But, you know, that's a great point as WCU has found the... I guess the... Actually, now I'm struggling. I think they found the keystone to their success right now that they need to just break down and if they can keep pushing at Lunar they'll find a way to get into that attacking zone with a good position if nothing else so far Lunar's been just off on his touches and especially his high aerials so maybe oh man oh that, I mean that was just a good touch from Pumpkin Spice but Scopes goes for the redirect copy respects the attempt he respected it but in that yeah. in that moment you have to realize that adam's there covering your far post so you have to go near and a demo attempt from coffee but just missing so adam has to step up and make that save to keep this game tied one of my philosophies on defense take the simple play if they beat you with a good shot they beat you with a good shot don't try and be a hero And right now, WCU looking to just try and put pressure onto this Long Beach team, which they are as Long Beach has no boost in the tank, controlling those boost pads, as you said, coming into effect for WCU, where they're forced, they're forcing Long Beach to make bad touches. So Noe going up, seeing if he can't get something under the crossbar, but it scopes off of the backboard with a massive save. That was almost a great pinch off the bottom corner for Coffee, but now Long Beach with effectively a free net only have to beat coffee they're going to look to pass it or but not coffee no my apologies but no with a great clear coffee now with a shot to win it or at least put the lead just missing though could have hoped for a uh, a wildly better shot no and lunar going for the same thing there 
This time it's coffee and net, but he does step up and make that save. It's an open net, but uh, Lunar hitting the crossbar. Tied game. Could we see an overtime here, or will this be it? And WCU, low on boost, just going to let it go to overtime. So here we are. Game three. This could be the determining factor for the remainder of the series. Whoever wins this one puts themselves in a position to win the series next game. Whoever loses is at threat of needing to win the next game. Otherwise, the series ends there. Right now, the momentum is with Long Beach. Western has been slow in these last 30 seconds. But a good chance here. Great save from Pumpkin Spice, though. Definitely the golden goalie for this Long Beach squad. Pumpkin Spice has been the best player on the team by far. He's been going for the correct challenges. His timing's been impeccable tonight. Right now, if I were to pick a player of the game for Long Beach, it would definitely have to be Pumpkin Spice. Right now, WCU looking to share the wealth a bit more and playing more as a collective three as opposed to maybe even just a two, which is what we're seeing from Long Beach there. As Lunar steps up with Pumpkin Spice, good challenge from Lunar. It's going to have to be Noe. What a save defensively. I feel a bump is going to be the answer to this game on which side though that's the question yeah, i would love it to be western i mean obviously but right now with the momentum happening what's it gonna be scopes though scopes has also been a phenomenal defender for this long beach squad no he gets demoed so unable to keep the pressure up and adam just missing that touch in the air it's gonna be scopes with another shot but no he up to the challenge once again Goes for a challenge. Oh, man. This overtime is looking to be entirely in favor of Long Beach. They have found their way to get pressure and keep it. A redirect middle could have been proven fortuitous for the Mountaineers, but not quite great half flip save from Coffee. Right now, Western, their first man is turning back from the ball and not going for the challenge and giving Long Beach free balls. Yeah. No, yeah, I would agree. It's all about what your control or what your touches control and how the bumps can change the course of the game. And now we're seeing a very physical game from both teams. Pumpkin Spice getting demoed, but in the same respect, we saw Coffee or no, it was Adam who got demoed from the Mountaineers. No, we now looking to play it off the corner. It's going to be Adam going up, misreading the high touch, but it's Coffee with the follow as you said, Estefan. That was going to be the difference maker is a single bump, and we saw it there as Pumpkin Spice once again got demoed. A big defender for CSU Long Beach just getting taken out of the play. So close game three. Now we're going into game four in the series. WCU has to win this to put it away. Long Beach has to win this to continue. And they've all Long Beach is already readied up as a squad. They're not going to take any time getting into game four. I would, I would take a little breather if I were them. Just talk through some stuff. At least get the chance to breathe or even just figure out what's going well and what's not. So how do, how do you fix it? How do you go from there? Uh, the big difference for Western, when they were on the back foot, they were turning away from challenges and they weren't going into it. But that goal was because of Adam sending his, his nose into a, a pile and 15 it above the, the net. Putting the challenges on the other team is what's working right now for Western. Whether it's a small one or a big one, any form of pressure coming from the Mountaineers is forcing Long Beach to respect it. Otherwise, they're at risk of getting demoed or sent way out of position, as we just saw there. In threes, your first man needs to be aggressive and needs to go for it. You cannot be faking challenges as the first man. I mean, sometimes though, when you're low boost, it might be better to slow down the pace of play to let your second man with full boost catch up to give you at least a better shooting chance. As we saw there, Noe not quite able to get that first one, but the passing coming out from WCU's hockey players once again Pumpkin Spice with a mistouch. It's Noe up. Scopes redirecting. Coffee 
picking up the pace and the aerial play now. Something that we haven't... I haven't really seen this from him over the course of a year and a half. From what I've seen from him, he is mechanical in free play. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Okay, but in the same respect, you have to remember, this is Rocket League. Yeah. This community has people who are in gold saying they have better mechanics than Zen. Sometimes it's true. <laughs> Zen, the most mechanically sound player of all time. And you think a gold is going to have better mechanics than him? No. Ooh, I do like that touch from Coffee where he jumped back down to catch and keep the dribble going. See? He's mechanical. I mean, he's showing us that he's not just a free play character now. He's, he's someone... just stupid. <laughs> I'm not going to necessarily agree with that, but... <laughs> he has his moments, let's, say, let's put it that way. But now the clear downfield for WCU. They're trying to keep this pressure alive. They've been keeping it in the offensive half a lot so far. And... I mean, tonight that boost management is being a or is making a key difference in what's allowing WCU to keep the pressure up constantly. Those flips from Noe aren't going to be helping any, as Long Beach is able to just gather their thoughts and keep possession in the Mountaineer zone. And now Western once again low on boost, going to have to find a way to do something. Coffee going to play it off the corner, looking for Adam, who gets a shot towards net, but it's cleared by I think it was Lunar. Double commit. You gotta move fast. But Coffee elects to take his time. That's not in. But just missing the net there. That was a slightly different position, and that's a different story where Long Beach once again takes the lead and puts the Mountaineers in a fighting position where they're down a goal. Um, that was a double commit from the Western, but I think that one was necessary to cover the angles that Long Beach could have taken on those shots. It was also a double commit. From Long Beach. Yep. And WCU just got the better stroke of luck in that one. Now they're missing. They're worried. You just gotta calm down, get a good clear, and reset your mind. I think you can tell that this team is a hockey team because you see them just clearing every shot they can to the corners. Something that you're taught very early from hockey, if it's in front of the net and it's looking bad, you throw it to a corner. It doesn't matter who you are. There's the physical game coming out once again, but Scope's going to get a good defensive play. Adam going to elect to take his time, throw it to the corner, gather some boost. Pumpkin with a touch towards middle, but Coffee going to clear it away for the Mountaineers. Bad double commits cannot happen at the halfway marker between your second and third guy. What a great pass from Adam, and it's out to Coffee. I know we've said it a lot tonight, but this hockey team chemistry is coming through in a major way you could call them lovebirds I, I would say so I've seen how those two interact I've never seen them apart <laughs> they're always together the only person I would say is maybe with coffee more than Adam is gonna be Connus Tomley yep but Connus Tomley for sure <laughs> big save from yeah, Noe big save from Noe this coffee with no boost is going to play off the wall. He's going to go for the... I think he was maybe trying to get the flip. But Western acting like they have a lot more boost in the tank than what they do. And it's and CS Long Beach, despite being on the brink of losing this series in four, is respecting it. They're not putting any pressure on the Mountaineers. They're not even, a, they're not even hoping that they're low on boost, which you kind of have to do if you're down by one with 10 seconds left and you're down two to one in the series. It's going to be a placement off the corner for... Co or for pumpkin spice handled beautifully by coffee missing that flip though it's adam playing it low on the ground and wcu will win game four one to nothing and that will be the series what a way to do it yeah just like i said other games should not have gone to five this game I mean, it, it stayed at four. Yeah, it was easy. So WCU keeping their record, extending it to 3-0 and now. And, I mean, all we can say is that they'll be back again next week with gay, or with a series. I don't remember who they play, but it should be a good one. I know there's the game against the other number one seed coming up. So, yeah, I mean, after that's kind of how it's forced to go at some point. Mm -hmm. Even if you're at a perfect 6-0 and 
it could be the very last game of the season that you don't see that other person who's at 6 and 0 the Fort Lewis oh Fort Lewis is the one Fort Lewis the Colorado rivalry yeah i mean we did see western football take down fort lewis in i would say spectacular fashion Easy what was fashion. it 44 to 6 yeah. 44 to 7 something like that nothing close nothing close but we'll see what happens then when they when the mountaineers take on fort lewis but for now i think i'm gonna say i'm sparky i'm estefan thanks for tuning in catch you guys back here in an hour and a half when wcu crimson plays easy